Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys apps that you should delete from your device right now. Now deleting these types of apps will actually help your device a lot. You will have better performance, better battery life, and of course way more storage on your iPhone. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about and which types of apps you should delete right now from your iPhone. All right, the first type of apps that you should delete from your iPhone right now are scanning apps. Now, before we get into all that, just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. If you're one of these people that are not subscribed yet to the channel, even though you're watching the videos, please make sure to subscribe. It really helps out a lot. So why should you delete scanning apps from your iPhone? Well, you already have that feature built in into iOS and it's actually really good. It works really, really good. So you can basically have access to that simply by going to your control center. You will have here the note button. You simply 3D touch there. You can go ahead as easy as that and scan a document directly from here. You will even have different filters or you can turn on or off the flashlight. So of course it's not really bad to have those apps installed on your device, but you don't actually need to purchase an app or just have it installed taking up space on your device. Now, when we're talking about just having apps that you don't need on your device, they're not actually just taking storage out of your device, they will most likely send you notifications. Siri and search will work with those apps and learn from those apps. So all of that will contribute on those apps, even though you might not use them a lot, consuming battery and also CPU power and of course storage on your device. Now, when it comes to scanning documents, you can also do that straight from the notes app. You open a new note, you tap right here and you can just go ahead and scan documents directly from the notes app and actually save them here into a PDF file. Next up are QR code reading apps. Those are apps that you don't actually need to have on your iPhone as well. You can simply open the camera app of your iPhone and from here you can just go ahead and scan any QR code you want, even the smallest one. You can also have the QR code button right on the control center of your device and you can see it right here. Simply head on to your settings, go to control center and make sure you add it from this list or right here because by default it won't be there. Then all you have to do is just tap the button button and it will open a QR code reader. You will also have a flashlight right here if you need more light and as easy as that you can scan any QR code you need. Next are apps that you don't actually use. Now I install a lot of apps on my iPhone because when I do reviews of different apps, most likely I will have 10 or more apps for a video and that of course will just keep on piling up and I will have a ton of different apps on my device, which most of the time I forget or don't even have time to bother deleting them from my device, but you should. What they will do, they most likely will send you notifications, consuming a ton of battery, Siri and Search will learn from those apps, and of course they will take up storage on your device, which is really important to have as more free storage as you can. What you can do about that so you don't have to worry about those apps at all, go right here the app store and make sure you have enabled upload unused apps. That way you don't have to bother about those apps. They will be deleted automatically from your device. Or just go ahead and take a look at the list of the apps that you have. Of course nowadays we don't have all the apps on the home screen but you can find them right here on app library. Just take a look at the list. Probably you will find a ton of apps that you don't need. You can just go ahead and delete them from your device. Or you can even go to settings right here and then go to general and go under iPhone storage. Right here we'll also see the list of your apps but also how much space they are taking on your device. And if you find apps that are taking a lot of space, you can go ahead and delete them. Now here is another category of apps that I believe you should delete. And those are apps that take a lot of space on your device. Like apps that are right here will show everything that they take up on your device. That there are apps that actually are very small in size, but will take a lot of storage because they have a lot of documents and data saved locally on your device. Like TikTok right here, you can see it's at 273 megabytes. That's the actual size of the app. 
but it has 715 megabytes on documents and data. And if you just don't reinstall the app for a long time, it will probably be a couple of gigs or even more. So go ahead, delete the apps that you don't actually use or need and they are taking a lot of storage on your device. But if you just need those apps, go ahead, delete them and reinstall them on your device. That way you will save a lot of storage. Next up are apps that use a ton of battery. Now there are differences in apps and the way they are built. Some apps are just poorly coded and they will take a lot of battery out of your device. So if you just go to settings and go to battery, right here we'll see a list of the apps that you have installed on your device. And of course, how much power they are using from your device. Of course, here you can take a peek at your apps and you know which apps you use most. So you tap right here on show activity and you can see how much you have used that app and you can see how much battery it is using. Now for apps that you use a lot, of course, it's normal that they will use way more battery on your device, but there will be apps that actually you don't use that much, not for a long time, but still take a lot of percentages right here. So they will be at the top of the list, even though you know you don't use them that much. So go ahead, delete those apps as well. Most of the times you will find maybe better alternatives on the app store with which you can actually replace those apps. So you don't have to keep using them, even though you might not need them that much, go ahead and delete them and save a ton of battery on your device. And last but not least are apps that heat up your device. Now heat is one of the worst enemies when it comes to battery and battery health. If you use apps, these will be probably mostly games that use a lot of CPU power. They will heat up the iPhone quite a lot. That heat will have a huge impact on your battery and of course will damage the battery health way, way faster. So make sure you don't use a lot of those apps or just delete them completely from your device. Again, these will most likely be games that have heavy graphics and things like that. So if you use them for a long time and keep on using them on your device, they will always heat up your iPhone. That way, the battery health of your device will drop way, way faster. So that is it for this video guys. These are six different types of apps that I believe every iPhone user should at least consider deleting them and maybe even replacing them from your device. And of course, are apps that nowadays you don't actually even need on your device because we have built in features of iOS that can easily and sometimes even better replace those apps. Now, of course, there are other features like the translation app from Apple, which you might not want to replace with another app because of course you think the other app does a better job, but for apps that just have a simple task like scanning a QR code, you don't actually need to have them on your device at all. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more. I will see you on the next one.